Hi, hello, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to Glenda Deacon. Now, Glenda, you've helped organise today, haven't you? Yes, I did, yes. Kim yeah. did most of the organising, though. Yeah. yeah, but it's been wonderful. It has. It's been great. I'm, so, I'm glad that so many people turned up because she did put real effort into yeah. marketing today. So. Yeah, but it was really nice. I could have done those. And that. That's great. <laughs> That's great. The, yeah. the lovely thing about the exercises, they work. Well, the, this is what I found really interesting. This is not just exercises. This is there's a practical purpose to them. Yeah, all the exercises that we do with with the older people are geared around daily living. So um, it's not just a case of we we ask you to put your arm in a certain position. It's it, the purpose is to help with dressing. Um, if we're doing exercises to build up muscles in the legs, it's to help you climb the stairs, help you get out of the chair. So they're practical oh, wow. skills. And today was to help uh, with the weather, to help you stay upright when you're out in, you know. Um, yes, the project that we're doing weather. at the moment is called Make a Move and it's geared around um, falls prevention. Mm -hmm. So the exercises that we're doing are called Otago exercises and they're based on strength and balance. Mm -hmm. um, so they're to help with preventing falls mainly. Mm. Oh, but I thought it was really good because not only do you have the practical help, but it's so lovely to see people being able to get together as well. Absolutely, and, uh, yeah. And so beautifully done as well. Yeah, Kim's yeah. a brilliant instructor. She she's very, very good. She's got a lovely way with people. Um, mm. She's not condescending because we're not out to be condescending. Um, but, it, but you, you know, the, the, the exercises are there for a practical reason. Mm. Um, but there's also the social side involved as well, because we know that a lot of the elderly live on their own. Mm. Um, and it's nice for them to get out and meet new friends, and then they get involved in other activities as well. So it's good from that point of view as well. And it looks fun. It is fun. <laughs> it, uh, it is, is fun. Um, we did only do a little snippet of the things today and oh. um, the classes are usually a little bit longer so um, you know we have nice music that, that make you want to tap your toes and, right. and get involved so yeah they're great they are great. you should and come along to one you of should. those you should <laughs> now, you might not be in the right age group yet though <laughs> how kind is that <laughs> <laughs> i like that. <laughs> now are you going to do this again i mean is this going to be a regular thing yes the the group that we've done today was just a taster session we we have a hub over at the marjorie girl in um, sheltered housing scheme and that's going to be done weekly every thursday afternoon oh right so we need to make a note of that do we so that our viewers can 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 know they can go there can anybody yep, go anybody there? anybody can go there yes does it does it cost you there is a small cost involved mm. yes but um it is open to um, the public as well do you know the cost or is that under negotiation i think the cost is two pounds fifty and that's for a morning or it's an, an hour? afternoon session oh. and they do usually have tea and coffee afterwards so it's a little social gathering as well so you get a cup of tea and coffee as and well a, and probably a biscuit too and a biscuit if you've well. earned it <laughs> <laughs> well thank you very much that You're was really welcome. interesting good. thank you good morning ladies and gentlemen good morning i'm kim and i've got back to life and my colleague is Lindsay at the back, and she too works for Active mm -hmm. Lives. Um, and up to my right, your left, is Dawn, she's from HUK. Sure, so so we're just a little warm up and a little bit of a mobiliser for our joints. So we're going to use these balls, and I'm going to do some very, very gentle Tai Chi Chi Kong. So I, one thing I'd like us to do before we actually start, pop the ball in your left hand for me. In your left hand. Oh, not the right hand. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry. And all I want, the first start, and all I want you to do is just lift your arms up to the side and just make sure you're not going to whack your next door neighbour. <laughs> right, and if you're, gonna, if you're already whacked them, can you make sure you just move your chair just a little bit, please? <laughs> well, I haven't got anybody from St John's Ambulance here. <laughs> right, lovely. So bring your hands down, just pop them on your lap. The thing I'm going to ask you to do is walk your bottom foot, shuffle to the front of your chair. So you're about the first third of your chair. Just take a look at your feet. Make sure they're hip distance apart. Now our ankles are sitting underneath our knees and our knees are in line with our hips. Now we're going to draw our tummies in to encourage the muscles around our middle to work. And then we're going to lift and lengthen. Sit up nice and tall. Excellent. 
Now just very gently draw your shoulders to your ears. It feels really uncomfortable, really unpleasant. Now roll them back and slide them down. Make a lovely big space between your ears and your shoulders. Okay. And again, take a little breath in, lift your shoulders up, roll them back, exhale and let it go. Can everybody see me? Or should I stand up for a moment? So again, you lift the shoulders up, you roll them back, and you slide them down. Once more, you lift up, and now just slowly release. Excellent. Give your shoulders a little shake. Keep your chin nice and level, and your crown nice and tall. And we're going to take the ball and just place it by our navel. Take a breath in and we lift the ball towards our heart. Our elbows come out nice and wide and we relax our shoulders. Now very gently press the ball down towards your lap again. Now as you lift up, open your elbows. Try and relax your shoulders, give them a wiggle if they're really tight. And now slowly release. We're going to do that twice more. So we lift up, elbows nice and wide. Very nice everyone and slowly come down. One slow. We take a breath. We lift up. Excellent. And we release. Try and relax your shoulders. Final time we come up. And we let it go. So we're going to keep the ball in the left hand this time. We let them float up like a pair of butterfly wings. And then we let it go. How does it feel this time? It's getting a little bit easier. Nice and gentle on the arms. And we release. Let's Lift up and we release. Now put the ball into your right hand. Take your comb in your head. We're going to try and bring the ball in front of our eyes. Skin over the head and take it around. Well done. Hi, so I'm going to introduce you to Kim Bilner and Kim. You were here and you, you organised all of this and 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 you're also the um, what would you say? You, you I'm, an, I'm an instructor. An instructor, thank I, you. I deliver and I organise. It was fantastic. I was just saying, you know, there's, you weren't at all condescending. It was pleasant and it was fun. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. I'm going to join in next time. <laughs> <laughs> just try to make um, exercises accessible to everybody and at a level that everybody can get something out of it, really. Mm. And this morning what we were trying to do was to encourage people to participate using functional exercise which will help with their daily activities. Because mm -hmm. obviously it's important for people to keep as independent as possible. And if they can maintain the strength in their legs and maintain their balance, they can actually do that. Isn't that wonderful, good fun yes. and practical. Exactly. And it's also a social yes. occasion. Yes. Um, people can come out, enjoy themselves, have a chat and also do their exercise at the same time. They look very happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of smiley faces. And this is all to promote um, your weekly... Yes, we're having a weekly session over at Marjorie Gerling Sheltered Accommodation. That will be on a Thursday at 2 o'clock. So it'll be about 50 to 60 minutes worth of exercise and then the most important thing is a cup of tea and a chat afterwards. Wow, yeah. that sounds really good. We're going to put the address up at the end so that everybody knows. And they can just arrive? Just arrive. Um, yeah. The sessions, if you're concerned about money, is £2.50 per session. That includes your refreshments as well. That sounds good to me. And it's suitable for all. So oh. Even if you've got sort of dodgy hips and knees, we can accommodate that. Well, this is sound, that sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> much. That's my session. Thank you. Easy with this one. Bring the ball in line with your eyes. Ease it round the back of your head and release it. How does it feel on the shoulders? A bit crunchy? Mm -hmm. Let's change to the other side. So we come in front of the head, <laughs> over the head, and bring it back. You may find that one side is easier than the other. And again, you come round in front of the eyes, keep it close to your hairline and releasing. It's a movement that's really useful when you're brushing your hair. So coming over the head, and now you let it go. So pop the ball back into your right hand. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to take a breath in and let the arms float in line with the shoulders, and then we come back down, changing hands. That's it, so we lift up, line with the shoulders, bring the ball back towards your lap, 
pop it back in your right hand. So we float up and we release down. So nothing too strenuous to begin with. So we're floating up once more and we let it go. Let the ball sit by your navel for a second, keeping it in your right hand. Slowly open up your arm. Give it a little stretch across here. Keep it nice and close and bring it back. And again, breathe in, open up and draw it back. Once more on each side. Can you feel how there's a gentle stretch just across here? Hi, I'm here with Kevin Reed. And Kevin Reed, you, you, you bring me people here, don't we, the older people here? Yes, we, um, we bring residents out in the local, my role is to bring residents from our care homes into the local uh, community and with the um, activity going out this morning, Naomi, we have um, bring some residents from Main and Foxgrove to participate in this morning's activities. That's all in Felix. That's all in Felix, though, which is that's good. That's good. So I think they've enjoyed it. Yes, they've um, been doing some activities and uh, mm. they had some uh, refreshments as well. And, and uh, yes, so it's. Uh, but you get her out to get them out and about. Yes, we we. I'm the bus driver for the home and my role is taking people you know to various locations of boot spots in Suffolk and Essex which can range from Oldbury right through to Blackford. And fish and chips supper, and and chips how wonderful is that? <laughs> I'm coming on that one. <laughs> yes. But thank you so much, I wanted to pleasure. say hello to you. Well, it's, it's a really good day today. Well, us, like, you know, we're out in the community and we're representing the home. And That's great, and all Felix stuff. That's all Felix stuff, yes. Thank you very, thank you very much. much. Thank, thank, you. Much. thank you. I'd like to introduce you to Lindsay Bennett, who's Active Age Manager. That's right. Hey, I'm Laurie. That <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's been a great morning this morning. Did you organise this? It's been very successful. Yeah. Um, as part of Active Lives, this has been organised. Kim Billman, the um, project coordinator, she was actually instrumental in going around and, and wow. doing um, hundreds of leaflet drops through letterboxes. So Did she? she yeah, Goodness. she's had an with these events you never quite know how many people you're going to get no. to turn up so we've had a very very successful event today well, yes and what was the point of today well today um it was a way that we could promote what we do at active lives in the um, felix doe area and we have a class starting at marjorie girling house um, right. next thursday and that will be a weekly session that runs from two o'clock till three thirty. Oh, where is marjorie girling house it's just literally over the road from where we are here but don't ask me addresses because i'm not very <laughs> <laughs> we'll find that it's, out it's just we'll over the road from the community <laughs> center <laughs> we'll put that at the end so that everybody knows because uh, yeah. you know if you've seen this you'd want to attend wouldn't yeah. you it's yeah. good it's very enjoyable it's good fun and good i think fun. the idea of these kind yeah. of um, community engagement events are to get people along in that social environment and come in and having a cup of tea and a chat. Um, it gives the opportunity to talk to lots of other organisations. Yeah. Um, as you've seen, we had public health here today um, mm. and we had Age UK, um, we had the Hope Trust, so I should say Age UK Suffer. Yes, it's um, really so good. The opportunity for people to come and have um, a health MOT and then to have a little taster session of the, the, the things that we offer. Yes. Now, what do I always say? Felix Stowe is the jewel in the crown of Suffolk. Yes. You do everything yes. here. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Really wonderful. Thank yeah. you for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.